What's cracking, everybody? <sighs> Scuba Steve here with Kraken Aquatics, bringing you another dive mask pre treatment video. In the previous video, which I'll link in the description below, we used the toothpaste method to pre treat our dive mask as recommended in the Kraken Aquatics dive mask uh, case. So when you get your dive mask, You'll have the mask, you'll pop that out, and you have this instruction right here for the pre-treatment instructions. It's steps one through five on how to pre-treat your mask to be ready to have uh, anti-fog applied to it. And so it's the five steps using the, the toothpaste method. And in that same video at the beginning, I specified there were a few other options you could take to pre-treating your dive mask. But I wanted to specify what is recommended from Kraken Aquatics. But here's another method that we're gonna do today, the fire method. Now, I do want to uh, throw out this word of caution. This can only be done if you have a tempered glass dive mask. If you are running a plastic mask, do not do this. It will melt and warp your plastic. It could shatter and splinter. And that's why we at Kraken Aquatics do not recommend plastic lenses. This is a single lens tempered glass, which is great for the longevity and the, the ruggedness of the mask itself, but it can also withstand the fire treatment method. So what is the fire treatment method? Well, it's all gonna happen internally inside of the mask. We don't do the outside. Now, in the previous video that I'm calling back to again, we use the toothpaste method to kind of wear that down. Uh, and it, that's a solid way to do it. This is actually a more surefire way. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> but seriously, this is a, a more assured way to get that little film outside. And you can't even see it, you can't feel it, but it is there microscopically and we're gonna burn it off. Now, again, I'm just letting you know, tempered glass, you're good to do this. Also, do not hold the flame right next to it, nor do you want to put it on the skirt because it will warp and melt the silicone, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the light started and we're gonna just go from this angle and very carefully, you can see all of that starting to melt away, right? So you just wanna be very gentle with it so you're not gonna warp any of the silicone around the area, but you can see that um, material melting away. Now, some of you may be kinda worried at this point because you're seeing black, like smoke film, and that is perfectly fine. That will go away with a towel or a paper towel. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it over this way and we'll finish the job so that you can see. Again, this is the fire pre-treatment method from Kraken Aquatics. All right, so I wanna show you really quick that that right there is just something that will wipe right off. A few little strokes. And that's the fire pretreatment method. Uh, it, really nothing to it, just be cautious be, or be careful when you do this. But now the test is, so we burnt that layer off, that film off. Now you just wanna do <sighs> no fog, okay? Does this mean it's perfect? You still are recommended to put uh, anti-fog inside and outside. The whole reason that fog even takes place inside of the mask is because there's varying temperatures outside of the mask and then your body temperature caught inside of the mask. Again, you see no fog. I'm Scuba Steve from Kraken Aquatics. I'll catch you next time. What's cracking everybody? <laughs> We did the pre-treatment method, uh, <laughs> dadgummit, it's the same freaking thing. As recommended. <laughs> <laughs>
So in the previous video that we demonstrated the toothpaste method of the pretreatment instruction, we find that actually in the... <laughs> I just so happened to have it in my lap. 